Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our next craft project in Craft Corner this week. I'm Mrs. Cynthia, and this is North American Craft Week. And one of the favorite things people love to do, uh, well, at least historically, is paint landscapes. Now today, everyone's got their cameras out, but before cameras, people did paintings, and they love to paint pictures of places they visited, like the mountains and the beaches, forests and uh, lakes, and rivers, even your own backyard. That's what a landscape is. So I think I'm gonna paint a lake by some mountains. I have visited the Appalachians and the Rocky Mountains, so those are some of my favorite places. So we'll start with, in your craft kit this week, you'll have some paint pots and maybe these or these. You'll also have some brushes, a fat one and a small one and you'll have a piece of cardboard, which is going to be your canvas. So to start, I'm gonna, using my bigger brush, I'm going to paint some grass. And when you're painting, spread the paint out. Because if you get chunky paint, it doesn't dry as quickly. You want your, your paints to be nice and even. Cover a lot more ground that way. So nice even strokes. Keep going, keep going. We're getting there. Almost got our grass. Okay, so now I have my grass painted and I'll let that dry. If it needs a second coat, I'll do that too. Now I'm gonna move on to blue. But before we do that, we gotta rinse our brush. So it's good to have a little water cup and these are applesauce cups. And you just wanna rinse your brush, get the paint off. And then keep a paper towel a napkin and blot it dry. So you don't want all the extra water in your paint, it'll water it down. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to blue. And I'm gonna paint my lake. So again, short strokes, spread that paint across. You don't want thick, chunky paint all over your canvas. Both sides of the brush, get the paint off. Go up right to the edge of that. So I have our lake painted. Now, one of my favorite places I visited many years ago is Yellowstone, and there's a beautiful lake, Yellowstone, and in the background is the Absaroka Mountain Range, part of the Rocky Mountains. So I'm gonna paint a few mountains in the background. Again, I'm gonna rinse your brush. Blot with a paper towel. Since my mountains are gonna be in the background, I think I'm going to switch to the smaller brush. Okay, so now get my brown paint out and do some mountains. I got the 
mountain painted going off in the distance. Do a little bit more. Notice I'm wearing an apron. Whenever you're not wearing an apron or something, you will get pay wrinkles. That's just what happens in us. So if you have an old t-shirt or something of your mom or dad's that's old to make a good paint smock or an apron, it's a good idea. So our second mountain. So I'll probably keep going and paint some more mountains. But I'm gonna switch colors again. Again, you wanna rinse your brush. A lot with a paper towel. And it's a sunny day, so I'm going to paint us up in my picture. I'm gonna let this dry a bit and I'll probably do another coat, make it look good and mix some white and blue and maybe do a sky blue in there. Maybe I'll paint a few flowers in the grass. Might even paint an animal, moose or something, or bear, or grizzly bear in the background. All right, so your landscaping painting can be whatever you want it to be, a favorite place you visited or maybe would like to visit, or maybe your own backyard. All right, so. Enjoy that, have fun, and um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about brush care. When you're done painting, you wanna wash out your brushes. And what I do is I'll go to the sink you know, and rinse as much paint out of my brushes as possible. I put a little dab of liquid soap, like dish soap, and I'll do that, soap it all up, and rinse it carefully. And then to let your brushes dry, either lay them flat to dry, or upright and if you do that your brushes will last many many years okay so there's a set of paint pots and brushes in your kit and a piece of canvas for your artwork all right we'll see you next time on our next